Hi, I'm Matt with SaratogaWine.com, and today I'm going to be doing a spotlight review of our new single barrel Don Julio Reposado. Great wine. Better prices. Delivered right to your door. SaratogaWine.com The ABV proof on this bottle is 42.7. The proof is 85.4. One of the differences of this tequila is it is actually aged 10 months instead of the normal eight. Most tequilas are blends of different barrels. This one is a single barrel. The barrel number is L2079ZR025. Before we get started, let's give a little brand lore on Don Julio. Founded in 1942 by Don Julio Gonzalez, he was only 17 years old when he took a small loan from a wealthy local businessman and started planting his own agave fields. He planted his plants further apart, growing them longer, which yielded larger piñas. In 1947, they built their first dedicated distillery, La Primavera. They rebranded as Don Julio in 1987. Then they introduced Blanco, and Añejo, and the Real in 1995 and 1996. In 2002, 1942 joined the collection as their top tier extra in Yeho. Always the innovators, they released the world's first Cristalino, the 70th anniversary in 2012. Don Julio broke tradition by taking the tall slender bottles tequila was traditionally presented in and put in a short squat bottle so his guests could see and enjoy the bottle on the top of the table. The tall bottles would usually be kept on the floor, chair side, and no one would know what the brand they were drinking, and he wanted to ensure his guests that they were always drinking the best tequila possible. When we first tried this, uh, I, was a little, I was a little disappointed. It was, to me, a little bit one note, and Levi and I tried it at the same time, and he convinced me to give it an hour, and he was right, and I hate to say it, but uh, it needed to breathe. This is, of course, 100% blue agave. Uh, it's actually aged for an extra two months, so it spends 10 full months in barrel to give it kind of more of a round, spicy flavor. On the nose, you immediately get brown sugar and molasses and vanilla and all those things that you pick up from extra barrel aging. Uh, I get a little bit of banana. Surprisingly, if it didn't have that brambliness that I always associate with tequila, you could mistake this for a really well-made bourbon. When I sip it, I get a lot of the same notes, uh, brown sugar. I mean, it is a sweet tequila, one of the sweetest I've ever tried. But then now that it's opened up, you get at the back, you get a kind of a mid palate of peppercorns and maybe kind of a charred jalapeno finish, which is really kind of cool. This is definitely a sipping tequila, but if you're into margaritas, because of the both sweet and spicy, this would be an absolutely perfect tequila. Oh, and I almost buried the lead. For the name, we opened it up for the entire staff to take a vote. Everybody kind of came up with names, but our marketing manager, Scott, crushed it so hard that it just negated the vote. The name for this tequila is Me and Julio Don by the Schoolyard. And if you don't understand it, you'll have to ask somebody over the age of 50.